synapses and the effect of drugs on the nervous system. So what are synapses? They're the gaps between two adjacent neurons and they need to be able to allow a nerve impulse to be transmitted across them. So you have one neuron, the small gap which is the synapse, then the next neuron. For my electrical impulse to get across the synapse something needs to happen. That's what we're going to look at now. So here's a synapse. My electrical impulse is going to come in from the top. This is the gap called the synapse. And then the electrical impulse needs to leave along my second neuron. First step is I have an incoming nerve impulse. That causes neurotransmitter chemicals to be released from the nerve ending. Neuro, like neuron, transmitter means it's going to transmit across the gap. They diffuse across the synapse. Okay, so that word diffuse is important, the example would like that. The neurotransmitters diffuse across the synapse, and some of those neurotransmitters bind onto the second neuron. Upon binding to the second neuron, they cause a nerve impulse to be sent out. That allows the nerve impulse to be transferred from the first neuron to the second neuron. Now if it finished like this, I would not be able to send a second nerve impulse across this synapse. So what has to happen next is these neurotransmitter chemicals are taken back to the first neuron. That's called reuptake. So they go back to the first neuron, reuptake of the neurotransmitters back to the starting point. That then allows my neuron to complete the entire process again. The way we think and feel is controlled by nerve impulses in the brain and that does involve chemicals moving across synapses. The neurotransmitter serotonin is used in synapses involved in happiness and pleasure. If you have lots of serotonin in the synapses in this area of the brain, that's going to lead to feelings of happiness and pleasure. A condition called depression involves a lack of serotonin in these synapses. So there's not enough serotonin, therefore the person feels depressed and unhappy. So we need a way of combating that, and we can use a drug to do that. So we have a synapse in this case inside the brain and these chemicals these neurotransmitters are now serotonin so my incoming nerve impulse comes along releases those serotonin molecules they bind to the next neuron and cause a nerve impulse to be sent out just like we had before what our drugs do and the drug Prozac is involved in this it then blocks the reuptake of serotonin so the serotonin molecules now can't get back to where they were before, so they rebind with the second neuron. That releases more nerve impulses down this second neuron. If you have lots of serotonin in the synapse because the reuptake has been blocked, that's going to lead to feelings of happiness and pleasure. So by blocking the reuptake, we increase the concentration, the amount of serotonin in the synapse, and that leads to feelings of happiness and pleasure. There are two more drugs that you need to know about. The first of those drugs is ecstasy. And this is a drug that works in a very similar way to Prozac in that it blocks the reuptake of serotonin in the synapses in the brain leading to feelings of happiness and pleasure. However, ecstasy also has some more severe side effects. Continual and prolonged use of ecstasy leads to the synapses being permanently damaged. That means they don't detect serotonin properly and that causes long-term anxiety and depression. If the brain can't detect the serotonin properly, it can't create those feelings of happiness and pleasure, therefore the person is going to feel anxiety, depression, all those sorts of things. The other drug you need to know about are beta blockers. Some people suffer from severe chest pains caused by the heart speeding up. When the heart speeds up it uses oxygen inside the blood quite quickly and therefore it starts to do anaerobic respiration which causes chest pains. Beta blockers are drugs that reduce the transmission of nerve impulses across a synapse and they slow down the beating of the heart so it doesn't speed up. They work in a slightly different way to ecstasy and Prozac. Ecstasy and Prozac block the reuptake. Beta blockers actually bind to the receptors on the second neuron and that stops the neurotransmitters binding in the first place so it slows down the transmission of those nerve impulses therefore the heart doesn't speed up as quickly okay so ecstasy blocks reuptake 
beta blockers attached to the receptors stopping neurotransmitters binding. Really crucial difference between them.